Right, dear students, uh, welcome back. Now, I want us to go and look at question four. Look at what? Question four. So, our question four, like, we are given uh, that below are the graphs of what? Of f at x is equal to x squared plus bx minus 3. Right? So, and g at x is equal to a all over x plus b. So, here I am given two equations. I am given two graphs. Right? That's what I'm given here now. f at x equal to x squared plus bx minus c. This is my parabola. That is, it is in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. This is my parabola. This here is my g at x equal to a over x plus p. This is my hyperbola, right? My parabola here is given by what? By, by the red graph. There's my red graph. This is my parabola. And then my hyperbola, this is given in blue. This is my hyperbola, right? That is the second graph that I've been given there now. Even before I look at the, at whatever that I am given. Now, whenever I have a graph, any kind or any type of word of graph, it doesn't matter. With graphs, right? The shape of the graph is very important, right? With graphs, right? The position of the graph is very important, right? With graphs, right? The intercepts are very important, right? It will be your x-intercepts, right? Versus your what? Your y-intercept. That's very important, right? When you are dealing with what? With graphs. So, when we are dealing with a parabola, right? So, 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 so. It's going to be, we, we must look for x in, for x intercepts. We must look for a y intercept. We must look for what we refer to as what? As the turning point. Right? That's the most important thing when you are dealing with graph. So, you, you, you go to a question with, with anticipation. You don't go to a question empty-handed. Right? If, if now like you've got a, a hyperbola, no, no matter how intricate a graph looks like, it doesn't matter. Also here, you will expect to get what here? X, an X intercept or intercepts. A Y intercept. Right? Uh, uh, in this case now, like, you will also have what we refer to as um, asymptotes in this case. Right? In the Y dimension or in the X dimension. Right? Now I can go and read this. Or even before that, now, like, if I am looking at my equation here, my equation here, like, I've got this constant, B, I, I'm not given. If I come over here, I've got this constant here, which is A, which I haven't been given. I've got another constant, P, there, which I haven't been given. So I don't care. Even before looking at the questions, I can automatically tell that right now, like, the examiner is going to ask me about this. The examiner is going to ask me about this. The examiner is going to ask me about this. All those, what, what you call, like, uh, 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 constants. Then I can go and read here now, right? Now, 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 now. Or even before I go there, like, with graphs, generally speaking, you can trace your graph from the origin, which is 0, 0 x equals 0 and y equals 0. You look at the, 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 the type of shape that you have. Is your graph facing up? Is your graph facing down? Is your graph facing to the right? Is your graph facing to the left? Where is your graph? Is it in the first quadrant? Is it in the second quadrant? Is it in the third quadrant? Is it in the fourth quadrant? Right? And then you're like, your graphs can what? Can also move. Your graph can move to the right. Your graph can move to the left. Your graph can move upwards. Your graph can move downwards. Right? So I don't care whatever form of graph, it will, I mean, graphs will follow that. That's very, very important. Right? Now I can go and read here now. 
So what am I writing here now? Like here I am given that now like f which is f, right? F which is the, the, the parabola, it has a turning point where? At C. I have a turning point at C. There's my C. Right? Even before I go to the questions, I can automatically tell here, like, now, the most important thing here, now, like, I must have my, my, my X coordinate and my Y coordinate. Like, at that point, that's my turning point. That is when the graph turns. Then I read. And then this graph, it passes through the x axis at one zero so it means that now like i am here given what my x intercept this is my x intercept so there is my graph there is my graph there is my parabola there is my parabola there is my parabola and then at that particular point now like it's one and zero it cuts the what the x -axis. this is my x intercept x intercept then it's one and what and zero day this is what the, this is what it means here and then here d is the y intercept of both f and g this let's go and see this is my f there's my red my red my red my red then there's my parabola 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 it cuts the x axis here this is my second x intercept there's my parabola 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 then my parabola turns. That is my turning point. There's my parabola, parabola. Then my parabola now, like it, it, it cuts the y plane. It cuts the y here. The y plane. This is my y intercept. This is my y intercept with respect to what? To the parabola. Therefore, there I expect to get my what? My x intercept, right? And I mean, I, ex I, I expect to get my x coordinate as well as my y coordinate at that particular point. And then I'm like, even bef before I move past that point, I can go to my equation. My y intercept, y intercept, I'm, I can read it from the equation if given. Now, if I've got this is ax squared plus bx plus c, and then y is equal to ax squared, a here is 1, I can see, plus bx, b here is b. I'm not given. Minus 3. So minus 3. That's my C, that's my Y intercept. So at this point, I know that like here, I've got minus three and zero. I mean, sorry, sorry. Uh, I've got, uh, I've got, I've got, I've got X here. X here is what? Is zero. And then my Y there is minus three. So I've got my, I've got my, my, my what's called like, my, 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 my coordinates there. Now, D is the Y intercept of both F and G. Then the graphs F and G also intersect each other at point E and J. Okay, there's my, there's my parabola, my parabola, my parabola, parabola, and then it interacts. I'm like, it intersects the parabola at this point. That's the first point. Then there we go, and then they also intersect at point G. That's the second point, and then in this case now, like, it does not intersect the, it, but, but it intersects the edges of symmetry or the horizontal uh, asymptote. I mean, like, the vertical asymptote. And then here, it also intersects it there. So, this point, that point, that point. So, that's what I'm given here. Next, the vertical asymptote of G. G? It's, the, it's given in blue. That's my graph in blue. The vertical asymptotes of G passes through the intercept of F. Passes through the intercept of what? Of F. I mean, the, 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 the intercept of F. There we go. There's the x-intercept of F. There's the y-intercept of F. Then here, another x-intercept of F. And I already know that point is 1 and 0. And then it means that now, like, I will know what my vertical asymptote is. So, at this particular point here, I don't care. My vertical asymptote also, which is x is given by, x is given by what? By positive 1 at this particular point. Right? So, 
even before I go to the questions, at least I, I will go to the questions like having some understanding of what is going on there now. I'll show you like in the next class now, like when we when we'll be attacking the so-called what questions, right? Then how we're gonna get all these uh, crucial what got like points here, right? Then uh, what else uh, is important here? If I were to look at the parabola, normally the parabola, like myself, I would start it here. If I've got a parabola here that is facing up, it will move like that, right? Then this will be my parabola, right? Like uh, where your x is zero and your y is equal to what called like zero, that's your origin. So that graph can move to the right or the graph can move to the left. In this case now, like it means that uh, like if I had a parabola now, which is why it's called x squared, in this case, it has moved to the left. It has moved to the left how many times? I can automatically tell it has moved to the left. If I were to draw a perpendicular line here by this much, right? So automatically this very here, it's my X coordinate. It has moved by so much, right? Then I shift the original graph to this side. Then after that now, like my graph has moved downward. By how, by how much? It has moved downward. By that much and then that much will give me my y what call like a uh, coordinate right there then i can see what has happened to the what to the to 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 to, 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 to the parabola even with the so-called what uh, hyperbola my hyperbola is supposed to be moving here right like it's what call like it, it, it's supposed to be sitting here somewhere here and then i can automatically see that now like my parabola, my hyperbola, also has moved to that side, right? That's why x is called positive 1. So, shifting to the right, then I must have had my p being what here? Negative, right? You see? And then if, for example, now, like, if this had moved to the side, then it would have been what? It would be positive, meaning that now, like, it will shift to the what? To the left. So all such things I'll show you when we are dealing with questions like in the next what call like in the next uh, in the next video, right? Uh, thank you very much for listening, and then like I'll see you just now like in the next what call like video whereby now like we will be attacking the actual questions now with regards to this, right? Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you just now.